Hey there, thank you for coming back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. Just as promised, I am back again with another Bia lipstick review. This time we're going to take a look at the Bia Last Powder lipsticks. Let's jump right into the video. The Bia Last Powder lipstick retails for 10,000 Korean won for 3.5 grams of product in each lipstick. And there are a total of 6 shades in this release. In my opinion, the Bia Last Powder Lipstick is the stick version of the Rum and See Through Matte Tint, except these don't even require as much smudging in order to achieve the sheer watercolor effect that we are familiar with when talking about the Rum and See Through Matte Tint formulation. The way that these Bia lipsticks apply to the lips remind me a lot of how the 3CE Matte Lipstick formulations apply. They are all slightly powdery and also slightly silicone-y. However, the Bia Last Powder lipsticks are not as pigmented as the 3CE counterparts. Thanks to the powdery and slightly silicone-y formulation, the Bia Last Powder lipstick do decently well at blurring out lip lines. However, they don't do particularly well when it comes to flakiness, so you will definitely want to exfoliate your lips well before applying these lipsticks. On the other hand, one downside of a powdery formula is that the product seems to clump pretty easily when multiple layers are applied on top of each other. One thing to note about the application of these Bia Last Powder lipsticks is that they don't apply very well on top of lip balm or if there's any kind of moisture on your lips. I find that the best way to apply them and to let the color show up to their full intensity is to apply in as few swipes as possible and then potentially wear lip balm on top instead of underneath these lipsticks. Since these Bia Blast Powder lipsticks have a slightly powdery and also silicone-y formula, if you apply the product in thin layers and also smooth out the color using your finger or a lip brush, there really isn't much transferring that would happen during your wear time. There's also not a lot of staining with this formula, but I do find that if your lips are particularly dry, the product could wear off during the day to reveal your lip wrinkles. Now that we have gone over the texture and formulation of these Bia Last Powder lipsticks, it is time for us to take a look at the swatches of all colors in this release, as well as compare them to colors in other lip product lines that are already available on the market. Number 1, Just Trust is a Coral Beige. This is almost the same color as Rare Kind BB Beige, but I sense a little more pink in Just Trust. This is a standard neutral tone base lip color. Number 2, Just You is a burnt rosy brown. Other lip colors that are similar to it are Rum and Maple Red, Hera Rosy Suede, and 3CE Nude Scene. Just You is more brown and slightly warmer than Rum and Maple Red, more toned down and also warmer than Hera Rosy Suede, and it is less gray than the 3CE Nude Scene shade. This color is a very versatile color because it has such a cool yet relaxed vintage vibe. It is also a more interesting MLBB color than the usual coral or pink. Number 3, Just Smile, is a vintage orange. This color is warmer and more toned down than the Never Die tint in number 2, Go Loyalty, and less beige than the Last Velvet tint chapter 8 in Fame Joy.
Number four, just forget, is a toned down, cool tone red. This is not as deep and plummy as the Never Die tint in number three, Go Action, and it is very similar to the Eclipse Blur Powder tint in number three, New Chili Red. Though I think Just Forget is more toned down than New Chili Red. Number five, Just Try, is a warm dry rose that is slightly orange. This is more rosy than the Rare Kind Mood Beige and not as bright as Rum End Onion Beige. If you've always thought that dry rose lip colors are too cool toned for you, this might be more your speed. Number six, Just Feel, is a bright cool toned pink. This is similar to Rare Kind Chilling Rose, and Hera Soul Days, though Just Feel is not as neon nor as fuchsia as these other shades. While I certainly feel that Bia did a very good job of selecting and also formulating a very good mix of colors in this release of the Last Powder lipsticks, I am not sure that this formulation is anything worth the money. This is definitely a release from Bia that I purchased for the colors and not for the formulation. Between the formulation of the Never Die tint and the Last Powder lipstick, I would always go with the Never Die tint formulation. That is everything I have for today's video. I would love to hear from you guys in the comment section below. Have you tried these lipsticks out? If you haven't, are you still super curious about them even after watching this video? If you have, do you agree or disagree with me entirely? Please hit the like button if you have found this video enjoyable or useful, and also consider subscribing to my channel for more content on Korean beauty in the future. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys next time.